Hey, you guys, welcome to today's team meeting. So today is December the 1st. I cannot believe it. It is finally here, almost Christmas time. I am totally stoked. I absolutely love, love, love this time of year. Um, so I hope that you guys had an amazing November. And um, we're going to start off with a couple of shout outs that I am Super, super excited to announce. I wish I could get up and do like jumping jacks for you guys, because <laughs> but then you wouldn't be able to see me. Okay, so we actually participated. It was myself, Lori Post, and Laura Halford. Um, we combined were um, part of a fall classic team, which you guys probably remember us talking about how that was coming up. I think it was in our October meeting sometime. So we just got done and we probably want to fall over and die right now because <laughs> we pushed ourselves so hard to like the max. And I am excited to announce you guys that not only did all three of us hit Success Club on this very, very difficult November um, month, because it was tough, you guys. Like even for myself, I went into the month at negative zero because somebody I'd return a challenge pack, and I did not even make my first sale on a challenge pack until I think it was like the second or third week in November. I don't know. It was crazy, and I was stressed out. I was like, can I do this? Oh, my gosh, what's happening? This is worse than last November. I was just like spreading to the max, and thank God for our team because I was able to go and talk to um, Laura and Lori and – they, um, just like always, you know, they lifted me up and encouraged me. And I just, I love that about our team. We are um, all moving towards one goal, and that is to help as many people as possible. And sometimes it doesn't happen as quickly as we want, but as long as we stay laser focused on our goals, we will get there as long as we don't give up. So here's where we ended up, you guys. There was three tiers, okay? The first tier um, was all of us had to hit Success Club. So we all did that. Um, and that actually earned us, um, I think it was Dwight, I forget his name, but it's like personal development guy. So we get like all of his stuff, okay? Then the second tier was getting a master um, and chisel tank top or t-shirt. So we got to that level. So we didn't quite make it to the third level of getting the ombre jacket, but I am totally fine with that because I really wanted the, the tank top. <laughs> and I feel like this is going to be good for us because now we can wear it and we can like represent the new program that's coming out today. So hopefully we'll get our tank tops within the next couple of weeks so we can start working out and maybe even doing like the on-demand program and showing people what the fitness looks like and we can wear a tank top and hey you know join me and <laughs> and stuff like that so um that was amazing okay so also wanted to announce that lori post um got to sc8 for the very first time so i just have to say congratulations because i know it feels good to actually go past uh the company standard <laughs> basically and then Laura Halford actually hit SD10 for the first time. <laughs> so that is like totally amazing. All right. So now you guys know that you can do it. What? Am I wrong? Wait, type it in the chat because I can't hear you. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, hold on. Let me go in the chat. Second time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Sorry about that, Laura. All right, so she hit SC10 the second time. All right, so that's actually cool, too, because, you guys, like, we get rewarded at Summit for our consistency at hitting Success Club. So when we hit Success Club 5 for 12 months in a row, we're known as a Success Club legend, I think it is. Um, when you hit Success Club 10 12 months in a row, um, same thing, you can be Success Club 10 legend, and they have different categories for people that walk across the stage, depending on like, you know, where you're at. So it's a really, really cool thing to work towards. And um, I have consistently hit Success Club 10 for over 12 months. I think it's, um, I don't even know what month I'm on, but 
you can see why I was so stressed out in November because I'm like, I don't want to lose out on my consistency. I want to like, keep going. So I ended up at SC12, which is awesome at a hard month, seriously, starting off at negative zero. So we all did great. So congratulations. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So the hammer and chisel does release today, you guys. Now, if you have been following your emails that corporate has been sending out or um, the Beachbody Champion page or on Carl's page, he, everybody's like been talking about how the release is going to happen, okay? Now, we're all very excited. We all want to purchase the program so that we can be among the first to get results so that we can show people what this program is capable of. So it's very important as a coach for you to purchase this program and to purchase it early, um, as early as you can so that you can get those results first and be showing them to people before the infomercial comes out. So you're going to find talking about this program this month and getting hyped up about it, how it's new, and here's the results that the, the corporate test group had and that type of thing. Um, that is going to help you guys to bring challengers on um, today and this week. So they have talked about it releasing after 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, now what you're going to find, it's going to be frustrating, but I want you guys to work through the frustration, okay? Take care of yourself first. Okay, so go on, purchase your own package, then you're going to keep going in onto the customer side and seeing when the challenge pack is available because the, just the program will be available to coaches first so that we can you know, have first uh, come, first serve on the program. Then the challenge packs will come out and those should be done by around five or so is what they're saying. So just keep checking. If you have somebody that's like ready to purchase the challenge pack already for that program, um, keep checking first. Don't give them the link. This is what I would recommend. Don't give them the link until you see it in there because you don't want your customers to get frustrated and be like, forget this, this site sucks or whatever, okay? This is the normal progression of how it works every single time a new program comes out. Every single time, okay? The site gets slow, it crashes, you know, orders sometimes uh, sit in the cart like you press, you know, uh, place order and then it's like has the hourglass forever so these are just the things that are going to happen today know that and work through it and don't let it get you down okay because it's normal it's the normal release all right you guys so and then as far as dates go um, we do have a team launch of um, the hammer and chisel that I'm going to be running on December the 14th so if you guys want to bring in your challengers, you're more than welcome to um, do that group with me. Um, Autumn and Carl, they also have a group starting on January the 4th. So you can wait till then, but I would recommend that you um, set yourself up early for Success Club and get people in with the earlier deadline of December 14th because then that way, because um, you know Christmas is going to be coming, right? So I don't know that a lot of people are going to be purchasing towards the end of the month. So it's really important to get in your goals early. So that's why I really wanted to have a test group for ourselves December 14th. I think that's a wise thing for us to do. All right. So keep that in mind. And then we're going to do, um, oh, make sure you run a clean eating group this month. So you want to do that. So pick your date. I would recommend starting on a Monday, whatever Monday you want that to be. And then our team um, open house type of thing for coaching, um, I'm thinking about doing that also earlier in the month. So I'm actually considering, and we can talk about this more offline and for sure give the date, but I'm thinking about next Monday because um, I really would like to do it earlier in the month. So what? <laughs> You're like shaking your Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you talking to your baby? Okay, so... Um, I'm thinking that earlier in the month would be good, so that way people can have time to become a coach and hopefully still earn some money for Christmas. So that's kind of how I want to present it is, you know, pay for cash for your Christmas or something like that, because I think it would be helpful for people to not feel like they have that pressure to have to put their stuff on a credit card, which, you know, doesn't feel very good. All right, so now we're going to move on. So if you guys have a pen and piece of paper, I would recommend 
Um, oh, sorry, that will be Monday. I think I, I think we're, well, we'll talk about it later. It's not going to be a um, happy hour, I don't think. It'll just be like the regular one, the five-day sneak peek. Okay, so get yourself your pad and paper, you guys. And at the top, I want you to title it, How to Create Focus and Get More Done in Less Time. Okay, so as I talk, you can take notes. And then at the end, I'm actually going to give you guys some action steps to put towards um, your day and your week and your month. All right, so we're going to be learning how to break through procrastination and create focus in order to get more done in less time. And we're going to do that in our personal life as well as in our business. So let's avoid getting stuck in that um, analysis paralysis <laughs> that we can get ourselves in or like getting ready to get ready, you know, all the time by um, – choosing to make faster decisions, okay? And I'm sure that you guys can relate, like getting ready to get ready. I've been there so many times, it's like not even funny. And then you just put off even starting, you know, and that could be your weight loss goals, it could be your business, it could apply to anything. So the secret to time management is learning how to make faster decisions. If you're sitting on a decision, that's where you could be potentially wasting time. Sometimes people are very analytical and, you know, they're wondering what their niche is, um, you know, what they want to offer. And that could be, you know, maybe a special that you want to offer your customers or, you know, what you want to bring to your coaching team. Um, but I definitely want to encourage you to pick something and take imperfect action okay and just do it all right um, because the longer you're sitting there stewing um, about whatever you know the decision is you're actually losing money right I mean I, I'm sure that you guys can relate to this um, it's kind of like when I first started my business um, I would spend hours like literally pulling up other coaches videos <laughs> And like learning how to post on social media and like what to post, um, you know, how to make videos and things like that. But I never actually put things into action um, until probably almost the second month. I mean, I was like kind of doing my own, like I would post my own workouts and things like that, but never actually figured out and put into action like my three to five posts a day. And like actually inviting people through private message. I was just all about the learning and I had so much in my head, but I never actually put it all into action. And I think I was just really fearful that it wouldn't be good enough, you know, and, and that's just part of my perfectionism <laughs> personality type is I like really wanted to, you know, be perfect at it. And really all I just had to do was, just do it. I just had to make a post, make a video, and whether or not it was like the best video, I just had to get it out there. Um, so it really all comes back to fast decisions. So like anything else, it's a muscle. And you got to work that thing out. So just start small. You can start in your family. Um, making fast decisions, here's like a, a sample of what you guys could do to like Practice making a fast decision. You know when it comes time to like movie night and your family's sitting on the couch and you're like, what do you want to watch? I don't know. What do you want to watch? I don't know. What do you want to watch? And you sit there for like 30 minutes or more sometimes figuring out what to watch on TV or you're in a restaurant and you're looking at the menu and you don't, you know, you take like 10, 15 minutes <laughs> on what to order. So practice. Practice making fast decisions, okay? Just pick a movie, pick something to eat, you know, pick something, you know what I mean? Like just practice making fast decisions because the more that you're practicing that, when it comes time to your business, because you've been practicing making faster decisions, you're going to find it'll be easier for you to put things into um, action. So the most successful entrepreneurs do make fast decisions. They do. They talk about it all the time. I've watched so many videos, heard so many podcasts, and they talk about this all the time. Um, and you know what? Here's, here's the trick. 
you say, well, I don't want to screw up or make a mistake, right? Like most of us, you know, talk about our, to ourselves. So you will never learn to grow unless you just try and get yourself out there. Okay. Um, so I want to encourage you guys just to put yourself out there. <laughs> don't stress about if it's perfect because as you grow as a coach, you're going to get better. The more you practice, the better you get. Okay. Um, the more you post on social media, the better you get. You know, the better you get at your niche market as you go along. And then as far as focus goes, to really like get yourself into the zone, you have to be set up for that and to be in the right environment. Okay. So like today, for instance, it's the first of the month. Today I have in my schedule to focus on our team. And what that basically means for me is we're having our team meeting. So that's one thing. I'm also going to be creating our team calendar today. Um, I'm going to be checking in. <laughs> I'm going to be checking in on coaches. All right. So I, it's all focused on the team. And I personally love to do this on the first day of the month because I want to make sure that people feel good about, you know, how they did the previous month. And if they didn't and they feel like they fell behind or, you know, they're feeling discouraged, that I can be there for them as their leader to build them up and let them know it's going to be okay and that it's a brand new month and we get that chance to start over, you know. So I want to be that person and that type of leader the first day of the month. So that's what I'm doing um, today. So, like, I won't be trying to do my follow-ups or um, – you know, new messages or checking my email, like at the same time. Okay. So I'm basically focusing on one task at a time. And by doing this, you will actually find, and I know this, this happens for me that I will feel more excited and more energetic throughout the day as I focus on um, one thing and by the end of the day, I will actually feel very very accomplished because I would have gotten a lot done uh, From just focusing on one thing. So it's very important to time block like this to set yourself up for success um, So and then during that time, you know when I'm focused on the team or when I'm focused on my um, follow-ups, I'm very focused on delivering the best of myself during that time. So I will also block out time for, you know, challengers when I need to bring in new coaches, when I need to bring in new challengers. So I'll really try hard because in the beginning, I was not like this, you guys. I was very, like, it's one thing to go with the flow, you know, and, and some, some things it's, it's good to be like that. Like, you don't want to be so overstressed in your life that if someone, you know, comes in and says, hey, do you want to go for a cup of coffee? And you're like, so, uh, you know, that you can't be like, oh, yeah, I can, I can do this later and go, you know, because you don't know when that friend might be in town again or those types of things come up. Okay. So that's good to be in a flow like that. But in your business, when you want success and you want to get a lot done in a shorter amount of time, you have to time block. Otherwise... You're going to be pulled over here, pulled over, and we've talked about this before. And by the end of the day, you've been busy all day, but nothing gets done. And you're like, what? Where the heck did all the time go? I don't feel like I got anything done except being like this all over the place. And you go to bed sometimes like your mind is racing. You don't feel as accomplished. And so time blocking is really going to um, help this with you guys. So the point is, is to set yourself up for success. You want to focus on 100% on one activity and then time block another area of your business. And then, of course, you want to give yourself breaks, you know, throughout the day. So you want to take care of you and you want to do your exercise and eat, you know, properly and um, spend time with your family and, you know, and so on. But this, this time blocking, I promise you, is really going to help you and by the end of the day, you're going to have a bunch of wins because you're going to be like, uh, I did this, I got, I got all these things done, you know, and um, they were business producing activities. And so those are the types of things that you want to time block, okay? Focus on your coaches, focus on 
uh, your own uh, health and fitness goals. Fo focus on bringing in challengers, your family, so you can time block everything, except maybe going to the bathroom. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here are some action steps, okay? And I have four of them. One, schedule out your day, okay? Now, this could be using, like doing it the night before. We've talked about that. You can maybe schedule out your posts so you don't have to worry about those for the next day. Um, you can also schedule out what you're going to be doing at certain times of day. So you actually want to write out, here's when I'm going to eat. Here is when I am going to work out. Here is when I have to take my kids to school. You, know, you want to write out every single thing so that um, you're, you stay very focused. Okay, number two. You're going to set yourself up for success by time blocking. So that basically means no multitasking, okay? Like seriously, who, who came up with multitasking? I don't know, but I feel like that person should have just called it, you know, panic attack because seriously, <laughs> that's what happens when I do too many things at one time and I'm trying to do everything well. Like I get that overwhelmed feeling. All right, number three. Create an environment for success, okay? And that means, again, no multitasking, no watching TV while you're trying to run your business. Um, you know, I understand that a lot of us are stay-at-home moms and we have kids running around, um, and that's fine. Um, normally, as a mom, you tend to be very good at watching kids and doing something else, but I would recommend maybe, you know, turning the TV off, turning email off, you know, things like that that might pull you in different directions. Um, as you're trying to work your business. All right, and then number four, be okay with not being perfect. Get yourself and your message out there and start impacting lives today. All right, you guys, so that is what I have today. So I hope that you guys like that. I'm going to unmute you just in case you have any questions or if you want to add anything. All right, do I need to repeat any of the points? Did I go too fast? You guys I think I got it all. Okay. Go. <laughs> all right, awesome. So you got, for your goals for this month, okay, and you can put this down next to your action step if you'd like. Think about what you want to accomplish this month for Success Club. All right, what is your ultimate goal that you would like to shoot for and write it down? And after you write it down, let me know what you're shooting for so that I can actually help you guys work towards those goals. And then also you'll want to write down uh, how many coaches that you would like to bring onto your team. So I know that we're building towards Diamond and One Star and all of you know the ranks. So look at where you're at after November. See how many people you have on each side. If you're close to Ruby, that's awesome. Um, close to Diamond, great. Uh, and then just see who you want to work with that wants to build to um, Emerald on either side. So that way you guys can get to Diamond. So you guys can write down who you want to work with for that. Um, and I think that's it. Do you have any, anything to add or any questions? Okay. Hang on. Let me yell it. <laughs> Do you have any questions or, or comments, Laura? No. No. I liked the that um was a good lesson, a good um meeting because I'm definitely one of those analysis paralysis type people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> I want it to be perfect so I don't get anything done. Yep. I'm like that too. And sometimes I even get like that with my workout, you know. Um, or I'll feel like I don't want to push myself as hard in my workout because I know that if I do, that I could like potentially hurt myself. Um, but I don't even try sometimes to push myself a little bit because, because of that worry, you know. And so sometimes I need to talk, like, out talk to myself from that, too. Because I want to see how far, you know, I'm sure you guys do, too, how far we can take our bodies, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
So, but yeah, I hear you. I'm glad that you like the lesson. Do you have anything to add, Lori? No, I'm ready with my goals. Yay! <laughs> so after I push, put the replay up, if you guys want to maybe put your goals in, like underneath the, um, the video, you know, link that I put in. Okay. And um, I'll think about mine too and see um, what I want to do. <laughs> All right. Tell um, me. Oh, I have one question. Sure. Um, do you have a picture of your scheduler or your calendar that you use? I think you held it up one meeting and I didn't see it. That's the type of planner. You mean the, the, like the paper one that I, has dates on it? Uh-huh. Okay. I, it's not anything special. I just went to CVS <laughs> and I got one that um, said, I think it was late 2015 and then 2016. And I like the ones that have um, like the week set up. And then the day actually has uh, different times. So it's not like a small box of the day. It's like a bigger box where it has 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So you can actually schedule out your day. Okay. And um, it's just a bigger area to write in, which I really appreciate that because I'm a, more of a writer and I have to write stuff out um, and get it out of my head. And so a lot of times that helps if I know this is my goal for today and then I can keep looking at it. Um, so hopefully that helps. I can't remember what it's called, but it's just a day okay. planner. I think it's like a, you can get it at Staples or you know, any of those kind of things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a, I need, I'm a visual person. I need to write it out too. <laughs> yep. I am totally like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Check it out. <laughs> this is that. I need to get a new one. This is the end of the year, but it's so it's not separated by time, but I need like lots of space. So. Yeah. 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 I like that too. And it's nice too, because if you want to write down the people that you've talked to about coaching, you can put it on there, you know, too. Um, and then you can also do like, um, if they say to follow up with you or follow up with them in a week, then you can put their name like out a week follow up, you know, for coaching, yeah. you know, that yeah. kind of um, yeah, it's, I think it's I, a mead planning. It's just mead. Mead? Oh. Yeah. From Target. Target. That's what I say, Target. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They sell them everywhere. I just happened to be in CVS one day picking up my medication, and I was like, oh, they have um, a business section. So I went over there, and I actually found quite a bit of things. I found date planners. I found some cool pens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like having like regular pens and glitter pens. So like the glitter pen, sometimes I'll just like do a little doodling like next to um, like my goals or just, you know, just to make it more fun so it doesn't feel like stressful or whatever, <laughs> you know? So anyway, all right, you guys, great meeting. Thank you so much for um, joining us today. Really appreciate it. And if you're on the replay, make sure that you let me know what your goals are for the month of December. And if you have any questions, feel free to not only reach out to me, but our team is here for you, you guys. You can put any question that you want inside our team page, and we will be here to answer for you. And we're, you know, we're not alone. We're in this together, and we are working towards our common goal of uh, impacting as many lives as we can. Um, and that's why we're called Be the Change, right? Okay, so you guys take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Yes. <laughs>